embracing one of the nation's most influential subcultures, which is punk. How would you describe the subculture? What does that mean to you? Probably like first something that a lot of people belong to. Go to different belief and society norm things. Mm -hmm. Subcultures can allow people to express themselves in the way that they want to. It's that kind of thing of being able to have a conversation and get to know someone without having to know anything about them. If you at the same gig, you've got something in common already. There's a group of people that share the same values and they're accepted by the general community. I like the same thing, stress the same way, kind of into the same kind of music. Like, nights out, they kind of do the same things as well. And would you consider yourself as part of any particular subculture? No, I mean, no, not personally, myself, no. Because, I mean, I've got friends who are into different music. All my friends dress differently to me. To be honest, I don't think so because we're quite like concentrated on being individuals. I don't think there's even really like mainstream and alternative anymore. It's not that important anymore because you don't need one specific group around you because you can connect to everybody in the world. When I was a bit younger, I did try really hard to feel involved in one. Like I got quite into the whole mod scene for a while, and then thought I was a punk for a while. But doing it always quite nostalgically and looking back at old record collections and trolling through the internet, finding all these pictures and dressing the same, mm -hmm. listening to the same stuff. But I think it eventually I realised that it's kind of irrelevant if no one else is doing the same things or sharing that experience like it's meant to be had. Um, so now I don't know. I'm interested in them, um, but I wouldn't. Classify myself as anything. Else. How do you feel like social media and the internet as a whole has influenced this subculture? I mean, there's good and bad parts. The fact that you're so, you're almost naked, and like everything, it, everything will be seen on the internet, yeah. no matter what. Everything's kind of a mis, a mis, mismatch. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's really shocking. You can have one person living in Slough connecting with someone in New York over the same sorts of things, and then they'll share it to their friend in like France or something and it just spreads really quickly. How do you feel like your online persona, assuming you have one, um, differs from your, your real life self? I have to admit, I've got like a love-hate relationship to social media because even though I know that it's a great possibility, mm -hmm. it also affects me on a personal level mm -hmm. where I'm like, at the moment, having my fourth Instagram account just because I hate the person I become. I'd like to think that whatever I post, or chat about online is the same thing that I chat about in class mm. I don't want to like put on a facade or something. And if you don't say what you actually believe and if you're not if you're not yourself and who you really are, then it doesn't really make sense. Now uh, with the pop culture, um, it's very much in particularly in the past it was associated with uh, rebellion and revolution with um, would you say that that's still alive today? Well I think punk is definitely still alive in the way that as I said, my generation is just able to share their beliefs mm. and make a change and yeah, re have rebellion against society. Mm. But it's broader. You don't have to say, you don't have to identify as a punk to rebel against the standards. Mm. I think in order for young people to have a voice, you've got to organise and collectivise or whatever. And if that's doing music or a band or the jackets that everyone's wearing or something, you know, something that will tie people together and strengthen them. To test the archaeology of different styles and different subjects, I'm going to show you some pictures and you just tell me what comes to mind, okay? Okay. Alright, so the first one. This is an early hip-hop movie. Teddy Boys. It's Teddy Bear Teddy yeah. Boys. Yeah. yeah. No way on. Teddy Boys. Or is it like, or is it like the revival stuff? Like 80s glam, 80s? Yeah, 80s. They got that Scar Mod thing. Scar what? Scar Mod. You know, I don't like the kind of people who listen to the radio unless I'd say that was either glam rock or hippie. That's oh, like. Like um, mad culture. No, not, no. Not just sad culture. It's like a. Like um, rave. Yeah. And rave like culture. happy Mondays and stuff. Mm. Kind of mod. Like, they look like they're probably into. Skinhead. Mod. Yeah, skinhead. 
Oh, most definitely punk. Oh, wait, actually. Like, Harley Davidson. But they like jewels, though. Oh, wait, try on. They're spikes. Oh. They're spikes. Mm. Yeah, punk. I like punk. Um, no, I don't. Oh, um, Star Wars again. Like, we're getting more. Two tone. It's quite present that they want to be different. Mm -hmm. I think they just want to make a point for like for being individuals and having like their own mind, their own choices in what they do and what they think. Hug. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, fun. Yeah. So that's like straight away. Simple, straight. Exactly.